Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome back to another movie review. This time I'm reviewing the new movie from 2014, Dumb and Dumber 2. Let's go. Yes, that's right, I wasn't gonna review this movie, but I can't contain myself any longer. I have to review this movie because it's too magnificent not to be reviewed. So, Without any further ado, let's get started. So the movie starts with Lord being in, in this mental institution where he's been for the last 20 years. And Harry comes to visit him every single day. But one day when Harry comes out there, he tells him that he's not going to be visiting him for a while because he's going to get a new kidney. And when he's about to leave him for a long time, Lord finally wakes up and reveals that it has all been a joke. You have been faking for 20 years? Mm -hmm. So the two best friends go back to Harry's apartment not looking any different than 20 years ago. I like what you've done with the place. Who's this? Oh, that's Butthole. And Harry tells Lloyd about his kidney, and they decide to go visit Harry's parents to see if they will be able to donate a kidney to Harry. And while they're there, they discover a lot of lost mail in the mailbox. And one of the letters that's in the mailbox for Harry is from this girl who says that she's pregnant and that Harry should call her. That was 20 years ago, so Harry finds out that he has a 20-year-old daughter. Lloyd, I'm gonna be a dad! Ah! Look at the postman! Which means a new fresh kidney. And so the two of them go out to find this young girl, and everything plays out the way that Dumb and Dumber always plays out, with a lot of crazy stuff and a lot of fun stuff as well. You're hot for my daughter! What? Am I right? What? Am I right? I'm sorry. And of course there are the classic bad guys that try to ruin it for them in order to get some kind of financial gain and all that stuff, and it's really, really an awesome, funny, cool movie. And let me start by breaking the ice and saying that yes, this movie is a disgrace to the 1994 version, but it's still really, really good. And let's not forget the chemistry between Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. They have an amazing way of working together and just, they're just amazing together. Let's not forget that it's the same people, not like that stupid Dumb and Dumber 2 when Harry met Lloyd movie that was made back in the 90s as well with different people. The critics for this movie is the ones that have watched the 1994 version and fallen in love with these two characters and then expect this version to be a complete copy of the first original movie. And of course it's not going to be, but it's still so good. It's a new original movie and it's really, really awesome. And people don't give it enough credit because of the movie 20 years ago. But if you haven't watched the first movie from 1994 and you watched the 2014 movie, you're probably gonna be like, what the hell is all these reviews talking about? This movie is amazing. Because it is. However, I will say that the trailer sucked. Because, once again, the trailer shows us only the comedy stuff in the movie and not all of the serious stuff. Not all the stuff with it being a really heartfelt story about a man trying to find his long lost daughter. I would rate this movie 4 out of 5 stars because it was close to being perfect. But of course, it was a little bit disappointing compared to the first version of the movie and it kind of didn't follow the lead to it, you know what I mean? It wasn't enough involved with the first movie and so that's why it's not getting 5 out of 5. And I would recommend everyone to go watch it. All ages, just go watch it. It's really, really funny. Alright, that's it for me this week, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. Link is in the description. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to check out my other channels as well. And I'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Number four, be sure you make something that you're passionate about. Don't just be like all the other vloggers on YouTube. Be sure that if you make rants or vlogs or whatever, that you do it about a passionate topic, something that really is close to you in your life.